Gospel on Demand. Gospel on Demand Radio. Man, I would love to talk about one of my favorite songs of yours okay. in the past. Okay. I just want to praise you. Yes. Um, yes. You know, that song is still everywhere. It's the uh, yeah, it's the anthem. Uh, I'm on Peloton, yes. and that song's yes. on there. Yep. Uh, I was just at a Jonathan Reynolds concert, and uh, DJ Mouski was spinning. Before, yeah, yeah, we played before. Yeah, tell us about how that song came to be, if you could. I know you probably answered this a million times, Don't but worry. that's one of our listeners' favorites as well. Uh, can we talk about that song, how it came to be? Yeah, so it's a cool story. A friend of mine... Um, was producing a choir album for a choir in Nashville. And so he said, I want you to come lead the song. I was just sitting at home doing nothing, right? So he said, come sing this song. I was like, okay, well, what's the song? Send it to me. And he sent me, I just want to praise you. And I said, well, that's fine. I said, but there's no lead on it. Like everybody just sings it. It's a song that we all know. And he's like, well, just come do what you do. So I said, okay, fine. And at that time, Again, everybody was singing it. There was actually even another version of it that was released at the same time. But there's something about my version, which I'm so grateful to, that people gravitated to, resonated to, and still to this day, which is unbelievable to me. Um, people sing. They know my ad libs. They know they expect that in the song. And so to me, that's just mind blowing because it really was a, hey, just come do what you do. And I just did it. And that to know that that's something that was done, the Lord put into me years later, not days later, not right. months later, but years later, um, it's just really mind blowing to me. It is. She talked about her ad lib. You are, you and Yolanda Adams are two of the most creative and innovative ad libbers because you guys ad lib within a song and you paint a story. Most artists don't do that. Where does that come from? God in the God First Radio, yeah, it comes from God <laughs> for sure. I believe God gives everybody their gifts and their talents, right? And so that is one thing that he put inside of me. So ad-libbing is a couple of things. It is being able to think fast on your feet, and then it's, it's a, the ability to rhythmically include that in a song because you can say whatever in an ad-lib, but it has to make sense rhythmically and word. And so God kind of just put that in me. And then you have to know when to kind of lay on something. So like on the, the ad libs for I just want to praise you. There's a moment there where I say, you know, we bless you. We bless you. We bless you. That repetition is like when you get to that third one, it's like, oh, God, it yes, it hits. And so to know that, yeah, you have to know that. Gospel on Demand. Gospel on Demand Radio.